Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people to freely assemble and petition the government for a redress of their grievances. It's the First Amendment. It's all that matters. Welcome to another episode of the Rick Castellano Show. <laughs> and Castellano's got to get a little something off his chest. Scrumpily, I'm sure. <laughs> you're, I'm drinking and you're burping. <laughs> Typical. Anyway, um, we get a lot of positive calls. A lot. We got two about Charlie Sheen. Richard. Why would you say such things? Charlie Sheen, he's a god. He's an idol. He's my hero. Well, he's a goof! Charlie Sheen, this insect, he's not funny. Unless somebody writes the lines. <laughs> like Adam Sandler, but we won't go there. We're talking about Sheen today. Anyway, he's not funny. He does his on-air internet show. He's got a good buddy, Mark Cuban. is going to put him on... <laughs> <laughs> on a live internet show. We were talking about the internet before. I'm talking about it again. This guy is untalented. He, he, well, let's see. I'm going to give you a little of my Charlie Sheen impersonation. Well, duh. <laughs> I got tiger blood. Tiger blood? You look like a skinny, aid infected loser. You look terrible. Look like you've been up for 30 days. Your hair unwashed. <laughs> you know why? You, you got gnarly toenails. You and Lindsay Lohan must go to the same pedicurist. <laughs> Never. Anyway, people got compassion for you, Charlie. I, when I watch you, I watch, try to watch a couple seconds of Two and a Half Melvins. Like I said, you're a Melvin. Untalented. You're not funny. You know what you remind me of? You remind me of one of those guys that you want to avoid at a any place, a restaurant, a bar, one of your old friends that tells you the same old joke, that the punchline, you can't wait for the punchline to get over with because a guy you can leave or you look for an excuse to get out of his presence. Whoever likes you, you know what they do? I got to admit, you might be right. <laughs> you said, Mr. Laurie, his ugly wife and ugly kids. <laughs> Maybe the people got ugly wives and ugly kids and they look at you and they, and they think life's not so bad. But you know what? I look at you and I see an insect. I look at you and I see a disgusting loser. I look at you and I, I see somebody with very little mental capacity. You know what? I'd like to say I'm sorry for you. I'm not. You deserve everything you get. What do you do? Dirty hookers. You beat broads. What do you do? Every drug known to man, and then when you survive, I need seven grams. Seven grams. I'm a tiger. Yeah. No, you're not. You're an idiot. Seven grams. Yeah, I need seven grams. I'm, I'm alive. I'm. I got tiger blood. <laughs> you're lucky. Your buddy Heath, dead. Who else uh, died in the last couple of years? Producer. Some of them. Well, big. Yeah, just, I mean, uh, John Belushi. Drug the, the, yeah. Elvis. Um, who's a girl that used to be beautiful and she put on 800 pounds and uh, she did every uh, prescription drug. <laughs> Nicole, you forgot who she is? She's got the chest that you love? You What's her name? You forgot the best one. I want to know the name of the girl I'm trying to say. With the big boobs? Yeah. I don't remember. Drug overdose. She had the, 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 the doctor that was her uh, attorney that was her boyfriend. Nicole something. Yeah, I don't know. She's in Playboy. Oh, Anna Nicole Smith. Anna Nicole Smith. <laughs> Why do I, I know? Because I don't look at the same magazines he does. I always thought she was fat. But anyway. The big one. And what's the big one? Jackson. Who? Biggest murder overdose of all time. Michael Jackson? Well, 
let me go off a little here, Mr. Sheen. <laughs> Let's talk about our buddy that nose fell off so many times <laughs> that he had a glue it on. Anyway, what did he do? People thought, well, this guy is going to be really healthy. He sleeps in a, a tank with pure oxygen to keep himself young. Keep himself young. He dyed his face white like a ghost. He had so many plastic surgeries on his. His sister tried to copy him too. She looks terrible. Anyway, folks, with all his money, he went to every single doctor he could find, got as many drugs he could find, and then what happens? Whose fault is it? It's the doctor. Now, folks, I'm not racist because it's Michael Jackson, because his doctor was a black man. But you know what? I don't think it's entirely his doctor's fault. His doctor shouldn't have prescribed it no matter what Mr. Jackson said or how powerful Mr. Jackson was. But <laughs> this guy was doing everything. The guy was high all the time. You know why he was high? Because he couldn't live with his past. Because old eyebrows Joe Jackson molested him when he was little. Just like his sister Latoya said. So he was messed up. I feel a little sorry for him there. But you know what? He took it too far. He got caught molesting a couple kids himself. And it cost him millions. He was broke. What happens? Everybody hated him. White community. Black community. Green community. The Martians hated him. And what happens? Guy dies of a drug overdose. He's a hero. People are moonwalking, dancing around the street. Michael, oh, let's go to the shows. I got an unreleased Michael Jackson. I still think he's an insect. I don't listen to his music. You know what? No, no, that's not true. I don't listen to it now. When I was younger, Jackson 5, they're great. Loved them. Bubblegum rock. Fun stuff. I did listen to it. I admit it. I was young too once, but I don't listen to him anymore because I'm thinking one, two, three. This guy, he's at nursery school looking for his next target. Good thing he's gone. Back to you, Mr. Sheen. Excuse me a second. I have a swig. <laughs> I'm sorry. Castellano goes all over the place. Anyway, I was watching a few seconds of your live video feed. <laughs> I don't know who you had there. Joe Sirico and JJ in your corner. I don't know what these guys were doing. Two guys that look like it, they were higher than you. And what are you doing? You're sitting there ranting and raving. You didn't say nothing, nothing. One hour, almost an hour of nothing. You know why? There's nothing up here. Without a writer to write your words, you're nothing. So you know what you do? Go under your rock and hide. That's all you're going to do for the rest of your life. You know what? Feel sorry for you until it kills you, like the producer said. It's probably going to be soon. Hopefully you'll change and you'll turn around. I wish you would. But you know what, folks? Hate to say, the way you're going, the downward spiral. Charlie, we may not see you next year. Not that I want you dead. Castellano's not saying I want you dead, but. Hey, the way you're going and the way you act and where you've been and what you've done to people, I'm not saying you don't deserve it, but Castellano just tells it like it is. You're watching the Rick Castellano Show. Tune in, and you may not like what I say, but I'm going to say it anyway. Smoke them. <laughs> Folks, Castellano's in on everything. As a matter of fact, this one, the producer led me to it. Good story. He's personal friends with Kiefer Sutherland. Anyway, everybody's, Keith, what are you doing, buddy? 24, loved it. Got to do the 24 movie. What's going on? Decided to do another TV show. Look great. It's called The Confession. He's a hitman. Hitman. Talking to a priest. Talking to a priest right up the alley. Good action type thing. And he decides he can make more money <laughs> selling it to the internet. The internet, the internet, <laughs> where guys like the producer regularly go and search the web <laughs> and they mess their screens. The internet. Why do I want to watch a TV show on the internet? <laughs> well, it's a thing of the future. The way <laughs> Not my future. I want to sit down in bed eating big <laughs> banana split, popcorn, burping, farting, doing all kinds of stuff. I got to sit at my computer like this with glasses on to try to see the screen. You goof. Anyway. 
Kiefer Sutherland's a stand-up guy. I'm not making fun of the show. I'll probably love it. <laughs> when it comes to DVD, I'm not watching anything on a computer. Look it. I don't know. Have you been out smoking anything in there with your buddy Charlie or whatever he's doing? Or, or maybe he bit you. But come on, Keith. Let's go to TV. People are waiting for something new. The internet. Folks, he got goofs. I got to watch a movie about this, this guy that discovered Facebook or came up with this. You think I give a crap? I got time for this crap? No. What is Castellano doing in his spare time? Well... This morning I got up before breakfast and I swam the English Channel. I used to go to New York before this Muslim terrorist. I like to mop up the all of them countries by myself. I used to do dips in the center of the World Trade Center. Now, Castellano's regular day, I take it easy. I usually uh, prowl the streets from midnight to 6 a.m. That's why Castellano's part of town, no crime. Let Castellano, zero tolerance. Let him take care of the crime in Rochester. Zero tolerance. None of this pussyfooting around like this insect that punched the guy in the back of the head. He got two to four years for uh, killing, the guy. killing the guy. He he died the next day. And it was a sucker punch because he's a, a sucker did it. Why do you call it a sucker punch? Because the sucker did it. And he, was, he got out the other day. Two to four years. He can't serve two and a half years or three years or the whole four years. With this society, the way things are, he serves two years. They let the guy out. What is he? An insect. We're not talking about him now. Let's get back to my buddy Kiefer and the internet. I go off on tangents and I'm sorry. Excuse me a second. Saturday Night Live is going to go to two nights a week, one night on the internet. The internet. Let's see what's on the internet. I don't know. <laughs> Google, Flogel. There's nothing on there. Nothing on there with cash law. I don't want. You know what else I, I care about on the internet? All I want to know about on the internet? Me! You're watching the Rick Castellano show, and if you don't like what I say, too bad. You thought I was gonna say smoke him, didn't you? Ha <laughs> What seems to be the problem, Rick? What seems to be the problem? I get a letter from the Army. It says they accept my re-enlistment, but I'll be so far back, I'll be sipping tea with the generals. Then, the part for the new movie I was going to be in, they got Matthew Mahoney instead. You mean that fellow that was uh, playing bongos in his front lawn in the nude? You lost a part to him? Yes, that's why I'm so depressed. You know what? I've had a secret elixir that I've had for a long time. It's sort of a youth serum, and I was going to use it myself, but boy, you just touched my heart. I feel that you could, you should have it. Now, how, how much younger do you want to be? Five, ten years? Let's go for ten, right? We'll get a good head start. Are you sure, Doc? Uh, almost positive. Fantastic. What do I got to do? Uh, while I get the concoction together, I'll have all the ingredients here, and I'll mix them, and then... All you have to do is take them. Okay, folks, we'll go to a commercial break and we'll be back with Dr. Scarra. <laughs> okay, we're ready to mix uh, this potion for uh, Mr. Castellano. I've got the ingredients here and we're all ready to go. A few drops of water from the Fountain of Youth. And more than a few drops, but he needs all the help he can get. Uh, something like golden elixir. Uh, one part uh, witch bane. And let's see, uh, one pinch of tanner leaves. Yeah, I got them right here. And uh, Oh, one shot of vodka to lift his spirits. I don't know, just a little added uh, help for him. I, I know he's been down. We'll give him a little shot of vodka. Give him a little lift. Okay. Uh, a few tablets from the Egyptian tomb of Nip and Tuck It. Let's give it a little stir here. Make sure it's all mixed in well with Okay, um, 
a one million year old dinosaur egg. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to have someone look at that. Uh, when I called it, I think I'm carrying something, a germ or something. Um, and a little Viagra to consummate his youth. Maybe two. Really consummated. And this should uh, just about do it. Uh, okay, Rick, it's ready for you. Bottoms up, my man. This is it. Here's to you, babe. You sure this is going to work? Oh, guaranteed. I would have taken it myself. You know I was going to use it myself. Oh, boy. Good. What? What? Rick! 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 Should we give mouth to mouth or what? Rick! Okay, go to commercial break. Go to commercial break. Hurry up. Commercial break. News flash is just in. Folks, got to talk about a couple of local fellas. One's my nephew. <laughs> we'll get to him in a second. And the other one? He used to work with our show. He may again, who knows. I may need somebody to beat up on a weekly basis like I used to beat him up. Anyway, Matthew, trying to keep up with the Joneses and everybody else, joins the health club, uh, Midtown, tries to look like he's, you know, one of the common folk. So he goes out and buys a $2,000 Louis Vuitton gym bag. <laughs> I said, I'm going to Aruba next week. Why don't you go? <laughs> you, can, you can sell your gym bag. Of course not. He wants to have a $2,000 gym bag. It was one of the ugliest things I ever saw. As a matter of fact, I told him the last time I seen anything like that, it was in my trunk when I was on the way to Volunteers of America. Now on to the next fellow. Folks, <laughs> some women actually like him. I don't understand what they see in him. He calls himself the solution. Anyway, big popular guy around town, likes to go to all the clubs. Some of the bar owners said, you know what? We want you in our program. We're going to make flyers. They're going to go out all over, all over the city of Rochester, and we want you in it. Goes to Macy's. Polo, Calvin Klein, Ralph Lauren, uh, Nautica, all the top designers. One, two of each, four of this color, five of that color. <laughs> Nothing but the best for, for my dear nephew. Of course, he goes, does the shoot, changes his shirt often like I do, but I own him. Anyway, after the shoot, he took them all back. And folks, I mind you, the solution doesn't bathe regularly. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you may need a sundial to find out when he bathes. But anyway... Macy's, you're a great store. I do a lot of shopping here, but folks, for the next couple of weeks, don't buy any larges. You're watching a Rick Castellano show, and by the way, smoke them.